notice how there's kind of a cloudy, it's kind of hard to see with all the sticks in the way probably, but there's a little bit of a cloudy residue floating in the water. That might mean a muskrat's recently gone through. It's honestly not cloudy enough for me to confidently say that, but it looks like maybe. So we're gonna stick old Mr. Uh, Midnight here down in the hole and see what he finds. And you've got a trap set down, downstream. Yeah. Down canal with uh, the wings on it. So if anything tries to escape that way, might just swim right into the trap, right? Yeah, if we get lucky, we'll see. Well guys, as you can see, I am uh, dressed for the occasion appropriately with my neoprene waders, the fanny pack, and I'm out here with uh, Joseph Carter, AKA the mink man, and we're doing another muskrat hunt with his minks. So if you guys missed the last video we did on this channel, we did something similar. We went to a park last time, and he trains minks to hunt nuisance rats muskrats fish all kinds of stuff so we're out here just right here in the salt lake valley down one of these canals and we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple but it's a muddy mess down here they haven't opened up the canal gates to fill these up so the water levels are pretty low which actually makes it easier to hunt so anyways let's see if we can't catch a couple of these things he's got three minks with him today and he's got the family some friends and some kids so this is fun so the mink, what's always funny is watching Joe put these minks in these muskrat holes and then to see where they lead and where they end up. So the mink was just running around up here. So there's an entrance to a hole somewhere up in this grass. Ended up over here. He's working something. He's right here. Muskrat, right there. Oh. Going back in. He's going back in the main hole, yep. Okay, the mink is still right here. Oh yeah, there's movement right there. Literally, it was in the hole. Well, we've got a muskrat in the first hole. We're just trying to get him back out there. He's right here at the very bank. The main hole we just dropped the muskrat in. Get up there. Oh, he's up here. Yep. Holy crap. No, go back down. Go back down. He's back down. Yeah, you're trailing him, but he turned around. Go back. Go back. He's followed his trail. I wanted to keep him. Man. Do you see him up there? No, just the mink. He's trying to follow the trail, but the trail's ended because he turned around. <laughs> The last I saw the muskrat was right in here. Here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> Got him. Holy crap. Good job, little man. Can you get me the box? What one? Oh man. You don't have to put the muskrat down first, huh? That's what I call wahehe. It's where they're, it's kind of like a bloodlust. They're so excited, they just kind of go crazy. And in that case, he went blind. He couldn't see the muskrat. It's, it's pretty common when they, right after a catch, they just kind of lose their mind and they'll do weird stuff. That's the first time I've seen them go blind like that, not able to see the muskrat. But I've seen him do every other weird thing you can imagine, so it doesn't surprise me too much. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good job, midnight. <laughs> wow. First hole. 
Yeah, I told you last time sucked, huh? <laughs> yeah, last time was fairly slow. <laughs> so tell me, are, are these muskrats a problem being right here next to the farm field? Cause some problems. I mean, the reality is, the main reason we're hunting is for their meat and their fur. For me, the number one reason is their meat, number two is their fur, and then three is enrichment for the mink. This is what they were born to do. In the wild, that's what they would be doing. In my care, that's what they get to continue doing. So it's a very unique lifestyle. They get to have the best of both worlds. They get to have the comfort of captivity where there's someone protecting them, someone making sure that on bad days they still get fed, but they have the liberty of freedom of being able to go out, search for, hunt, and kill their own food. So kind of the best of both worlds. Now, fourth, behind those three other reasons, yeah, it is pest control. These muskrats, if you look at these holes they're digging, it causes a lot of erosion and potentially flooding hazards. Um, this is a man-made canal made for, for irrigating crops. And so when they start digging, they could possibly flood homes or massive erosion that costs a lot of money to fix. So sure, it's pest control, but in this specific situation, for me, this is like fourth on the list of why we're doing it. Um, there are other places where it's the number one reason I'm doing it. I'll go, I get paid for certain city parks to go in and clean out the muskrats that are causing the same kind of erosion problems. And in those cases, yeah, the number one reason I'm there is pest control because I'm, I'm being paid to do it. Here, it's mostly meat, fur, exercise, and enrichment for the mink. Interesting stuff, guys. Uh, learning, learning new things all the time. But uh, you're not worried about him? The muskrat will never get the mink? Oh, yeah, I mean... It can always happen. Mink have been hunting muskrats since the beginning of time. So the ones who aren't very good at it, they get injured, they don't reproduce and don't pass on their genes. So they've gotta be good at doing this because those muskrats have very big dangerous teeth. And if they slip up, sure there's the real chance of injury. But from the mink that I've seen, the overwhelming majority of the time, they don't even get a minor injury. They're just so good at it. Uh, but is it possible? Sure. Have I heard of it happening? Yes, not with my own mink, but with other people's. Fun fact, the deadhead Colorado buck, the sal salvage tagged out buck I got, anything that was not edible for human consumption, I gave and gifted to Joe to grind up, process, and feed his hunting dogs and his mink. So nothing of that deer went to waste. I saw this hole in the store of the muskrat. Oh, so you from trade him, huh? Wow. Yeah. Like Give him some food. Okay, we made it to location number two, and that's the hole right down there. Look like a good one? I have no idea. <laughs> There's only something's one way to know. In, something's in there, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, so we'll see what's in there. This is what I love coming with Joe and his wife. Their daughter has got no fear. Say hi. Hi. What are we catching? I want to go on the chickens. You want to go see the chickens, huh? <laughs> Olive. Her name's Olive. She's so cute. She's typically always right in the water, in the mud, and hunting with her dad, Joseph. So, pretty cool getting the kids outside. I'll leave them out in case something big comes out, but they're just. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave them out this time. I don't know that they're gonna grab anything, but. Maybe. We'll see. Go in, spot. There's some tracks right here. What's that? That's coon. There's a lot of coon sign up here. Uh oh. Nope. Grab the dog. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Okay, boss Lily, come down here. Isn't that funny how these these guys are a team. They'll hunt all together. Rats, muskrats, all kinds of stuff. You guys, if you've never seen Joseph's channel, it's uh, Joseph Carter, the Mink Man. You guys gotta go check it out. Seriously, it will blow your mind. I basically binge watched a whole bunch of them one night when I first came across his channel. And come to find out, he literally lived right down the street from me. He's since moved, but he's really not that far away. Go check him out on his channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box for you. But uh, let's see what he can scare out of here. This is dug by a beaver, no doubt. But I don't think there's a beaver home. I'm not seeing any sign of a big mammal. Where are you going, dude? <laughs> Isn't this cool? Just call, man. No, oh. get in there. So he's holding up the meat in the back of the cage. 
get the mink in and he gets rewarded by a little sliver of some meat. So on to the next spot. Location number three. Scouted out some good holes that look like they have fresh sign. Like that one. So because they're along the water, they deteriorate extremely fast. So they will literally deteriorate within days of inactivity. But, um, so I'm gonna give it a shot anyway, but I'm not seeing any real fresh sign other than the fact that the holes are maintained. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's hope so. I've actually once had a mink dig into a collapsed den. No, that's not even a den. He's like, well, I'll go find a den. <laughs> The minks will just search this brush and the grass and they'll find their entry holes. Yeah, because they'll go up there to feed. And sometimes they have entrances and sometimes they don't. It just kind of de depends. I don't know what it depends on, but... It's super ancient, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All kinds of tracks. Ducks. Here, look at this, Eric. Maggie will film behind us. See this? This is perfect. This is like they made it for us. Oh, yeah. It's like one of those, those uh, nature shows that you know they freaking staged. There's no way that was real. This actually is. Look, they just barely dug this. You can see all this is super dug, fresh. And there you can see the nibbling right on the cattail root. So they're somewhere close. Somewhere. I mean, we're seeing, that's the freshest sign we've seen so far. So maybe they're under the bridge. I don't know. There you go. Come on, Scott, come try this. I'll bet you there's one home here. Uh, I'm going to run, old Joe. I'm going to run around. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's, this is, I think this is where they're at, right here. Are you going to try this far or are you going to do a goof? Look at the most guy coming to me, I'm going to punch him to you, okay? Come on, little man. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's this path. This one, and then all this. Look at that. We're gonna have one puffing out any minute. Be ready, guys. Here you see it already. I see a couple. I yep. He's got one. Oh, he's, he's got, got one. one. He's got one. Right here. Come up close. He's got it by the tail. There's another one. Come up behind him. Now that water's too deep, so he's lost it. There's another one. There's one. Right there to the right, buddy. He's trying to find it. It's right in front of him. He's following it. Oh, it's too deep. Yeah, there's two heading that way. You, you had him. All three, yep, all three. This is a big one. It's a Frey muskrat. He got three of them Where out of this hole, guys. Look, there's two more down there. So he just caught one. Come on down here, Spock. These two are heading back down to the deeper water. We need the dogs. Come on, Look at this guy. No way. Oh, he had him. Where'd he go? Was he still going this way? <coughs> oh, he's up there. <coughs> hey, right here. Right here behind you. Ooh, careful. Sheesh. Okay, the third one is still going up to shallower water. Spots, I give me one. Dude. Yeah, he had three of them out of that one hole. Well, it's going upstream. Good. Come on, 
Spot. Up ahead of us. Yep. He spun around. Spot got him. Good job, big guy. You worked for that one. You worked for that one. Can um, who doesn't have a camera? One of you guys. Oh, me. <laughs> he got the third one. Could you grab the camera, Sky? Or the box, I mean, the caching box. Yeah. He, he, he had three out of that one hole, and he caught come on, the last let's come one. Come over here, Spot. Here you go. Good job, big guy. Woo. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy, boys. That was crazy. Look at that muskrat. That's a big old boy. That was a like, triple. Yeah, boy. So he found the right hole, too. Yeah. Out of all those different holes, he yeah. found the right one. He was, he, I'm proud of him. He's like, nope, nothing home. Oh, nothing home. Nope, nothing home. There we go. Went right in. That's yeah, a good mink. That was, was wild. I was sick of guessing him. Woo! Okay. My arms are tired from holding muskrats up. Let's go. Let's go That's back to the car. Huge. Look how big this one. This thing's monster. That thing is a monster. And you also use their fur, huh? Yep. Well, guys, that was wild. It was really, really cool to see that mink. Kind of check every hole, but he wasn't committed to him. And I kind of thought it was because he wasn't he wasn't being very aggressive. But really, once he found the right hole with the right scent or whatever, three of them, he went in and three of them came out. And with the help of the net, we were able to catch all three and, and the mink caught that very last one. So, whew. Successful little hunt right there. That was wild. Well, they do their job and they do it well. They're both like their dad. They work like dogs. They totally read you. Like both of these make just like their dad. Their dad was like a dog. Without very much experience, he started honing in or keying in on your body language really quick. And he knew, oh, this guy knows where the rats are and he'd follow you. Or if you're just walking along, he'd ignore you and he'd look for him. So just like a dog, he could read, oh, this guy knows where it's at and he'd follow you. And just like a, a good dog, when you don't know where it's at, they start looking for him. He's just really nice temperaments, and they're both just like that, just they like their dad. They were so under your feet. Yeah, this one was. when we had the muskrats, but when the, when it came to when it came to time to find the muskrats himself, and we were on, on them, boom, he just went right in the hole. Ah, oh, I love these mink. He's gone. Woo! <laughs> Relax, Mamba. Oh, this is Mamba. Yeah. Mamba. It's funny, guys. The, uh, hey, 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 relax, 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 relax. His viewers relax. really get relax. to know his minks, which relax. I think is cool. So this is Mamba. This is a popular <laughs> one, right? I don't know what she thought I was, but she didn't think it was me. Still you were standing a little closer or something. She, she blew, or she, what was that? She almost grabbed me, and then she just musked. She's just feisty from the heart. Hey, you're okay. You're okay, sweetheart. It's just me. <laughs> so she's only nice to me. She will grab you and chew a big hole in you. And I don't know if she thought it was Eric reaching to grab her, or if she thought it was the other mink, or what. But she, she wheeled around just about put a new <laughs> hole in my finger. All right, guys, that was a fun hunt. We are back to the house and putting away the the, wrong the mink. minks. They get their own little space, huh? Yeah, they'll fight otherwise. Look at these guys. Going in spot. They look friendly, but I wouldn't stick my, your finger in there. That's why you have about an inch gap between these, so they can't fight each other. Yeah, otherwise they'll pull each other's faces off and grab a toe or a nose or whatever. Before we end this video, I wanted to go over what exactly he does with these, the muskrats. So these muskrats, a lot of people don't realize that their fur has some value. They go into building, making hats, coats, mostly trims of coats. It's not usually the full coat, but coats and uh, hats are kind of the most popular things they make out of them. Overseas. And um, most of them are over in like China and Russia. And so what I'll do is I, I skin them, I take the meat, and I freeze it and I either eat it myself or I feed it to the mink. The pelts, rather than sell them, I actually get more bang for my buck if I go and trade them to fur, tr fur traders and they give me their muskrat bodies and beaver bodies oh. that they would have just chucked otherwise. And so they trade me bigger, better than they would have if I wanted to give them mm -hmm. for cash. And then I get a whole bunch of muskrats and beavers that I then turn into mink food. And um, You grind and process your own? Yep. Yeah, I've got meat. a big electric grinder, just grind it all up. 
pretty cool operation. Well, thanks for having me again. That was fun. Yeah. It's kind of last minute, but we made it happen and we actually had a good day. I promise you guys will be stuck binge watching all of them. So I apologize for that, for wasting most of your day, but go check them out. Uh, it's really fun to watch his dogs hunt together sometimes and these minks. So until next time guys, we'll see you on the next video.